everybody, it's Andrea Mercier, aka Anlom, and welcome to my studio. Today is a quick video. I got a request from one of my YouTube creator friends, Valerie, and she asked me how to do something on her YouTube main page. So I told her I would create a quick little video and just show her how I did it and then I can post it for her to watch and of course anyone else who's interested can watch it too. So uh, this has already been recorded using a screen capture device so I'll catch you on the other side. Okay so here I am on my YouTube main page. What Valerie is asking about is over here on the right hand side, the bottom right hand side of my YouTube banner. So she's talking about the social media link. So I have my website, my Facebook page, my Facebook exhibit page, my Twitter account and my Instagram. And she wants to know how to customize that. So what you do is in the top right hand corner of your banner is an edit pencil. And when you click on it, you get two choices. You can either edit your channel art, which would be my logo and the graphics that are there. And if you click on edit links, it brings you to your about page. And at the bottom, you have the opportunity to customize your social media links that appear on your channel banner. So down here at the bottom under custom links, you have the opportunity to put in, I'm not sure how many links you can put in, but if you notice right here, you can only put in up to five that will show on the channel art banner. You can put in as many as you want um, and move them around depending if you have a promotion going in your uh, Instagram account or if you have a new platform that you wanna highlight, you can always move these around and it will overlay the first five. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to remove this bottom one and I'll show you how to create them from scratch. So what you do is you click add and you put in a title and what I'm going to do is create a social media tab for my Lake Art Studios Facebook page. So here is my Lake Art Studios Facebook page and what you do is you copy and paste the entire URL including the HTTPS. If you don't copy that, Facebook doesn't recognize it as a link and then they press enter and it creates them. And then on your let me go back to the home page. So they'll show up here on the right. Now, whatever you put in as the description of your first column is what shows up here when you hover. So if my Lake Art Studios Facebook page was actually one of the top five, when I hovered over it, it would say Lake Art Studios. So I hope that this has been helpful for Valerie and for anyone else who's looking to update their channel banner art and their social media presence here. If you have any questions, please feel free to put them down in the dibbly doo and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful day. It's always better when you're here. Bye.